This video will walk through the process of creating a Moodle quiz and editing quiz settings. After logging into your Moodle course, navigate to the Edit Mode switch in the upper right corner and click on it to turn editing on. Next, navigate to the module to which you would like to add a quiz. Click on Add an Activity or Resource, then select Quiz. Creating a quiz is a two-part process. First, you'll create the face of the quiz by creating the quiz container and establishing settings. That is what this video is going to cover. The second part of creating a quiz is adding questions to the quiz. This part will be covered in another video. It's important to remember that the step we're covering right now is only step one in creating a quiz. The first thing that you will need to do is name the quiz. It's a good idea to add a description in the box to clarify expectations for students. You can include information about what types of questions are in the quiz, how many total points the quiz is worth and how much it will count towards the course grade, how much time is allowed to complete the quiz, and any other information you think might be helpful. Following this first section, you will see a collapsed list of settings. You can click on the name of a setting to expand or collapse the options under that setting. You can also click the Expand All button to see all settings and their options. The first section is Timing. You can set a date to open the quiz by clicking the Enable box. Choose a date and time that you want students to be able to access the quiz for the first time. You can also click the Enable box for closing the quiz to set a date that the quiz can no longer be attempted by students. Remember that times are given in 24-hour format and that a time of 0000, 000 means 12 o'clock a.m. If you want to give students until the very end of a day to complete the quiz, select 2359 for 1159 p.m. You can also enable a time limit for quizzes. I can set this to be 30 minutes, meaning that from a moment a student starts the quiz, they have 30 minutes to complete and submit it. The box below determines what happens when the time expires. You have several choices under the drop-down menu. If you choose Open Attempts Are Submitted Automatically, the quiz will be submitted for grading when the time expires, regardless of whether the student has completed the quiz or clicked the Submit button. If you choose to allow a grace period, students will be able to review and submit their quiz up to the point they completed before the time expired, but they cannot answer any more questions. If you choose this setting, you can then set the period of time they will have to submit the quiz. If you choose the last setting, the quiz will not be counted unless the student clicks on the Submit button at the end of a quiz before the time has expired. You can get additional information for any of these settings by clicking on the blue question marks. The next setting is Grade. The first criteria you can set is where this grade appears in your gradebook. If you have previously set up categories in your gradebook, they will appear here. If you don't see any categories, you will need to go to your gradebook setup to create them, after which you will see them in this drop-down menu. The Grade to Pass setting is used for activity and course completion criteria, which are configured elsewhere. This setting also highlights pass grades in green and fail grades in red in the gradebook. Attempts Allowed determines how many times students can take the quiz, and the following setting determines how grades are calculated for more than one attempt. For example, if this is a formative assessment that is intended to help students build knowledge and I want to give a grade for it, I can give students three attempts and use the highest grade in the gradebook. The next setting is Layout, where you can determine how you want your quiz to appear to students. The default is set to show each question on a new page. However, you can change this to allow all or some of the questions on the same page. 
following layout, you can determine how you want questions to behave within the quiz. If you choose yes to shuffle within the questions, then the answer choices will be shuffled every time the quiz is opened. The next setting is important because it will determine the review options and settings in the next section. The default is set to deferred feedback, which is most likely the option you'll want to choose as it is most similar to an in-class quiz. With deferred feedback, students will answer each question, submit the quiz, and only after submission will the quiz be graded and the students receive feedback. The selections in the question behavior settings determine what you can choose in the review options settings. Because we chose deferred feedback, you'll see that some options in the review options area are not available. For example, during the quiz attempt, students can only see the attempt, meaning that they can only see how they responded to the questions. This section is only used when quizzes are set to have immediate feedback after each question. Immediately after the attempt, which means after the student has clicked the Submit All and Finish button, you can allow students to see what they answered, which questions they got right and which they got wrong, the points they received, and feedback for each question and the quiz itself. If you only want them to see their total points without showing them details of what they got right and wrong, you can choose Points and Overall Feedback under Immediately After the Attempt. This allows students to see their grade and the overall feedback, but doesn't allow them to see the details of what they got wrong and right, which can be a way to preserve academic integrity while the quiz is still open and available to other students. The Immediately After the Attempt options are only displayed during the first two minutes after the quiz is submitted. You can make the same selections for later while the quiz is still open. This allows students to see these options up until the date and time the quiz has closed if you had enabled those in the timing section above. If you have not set a close date and time, students can see these items anytime after they submit the quiz. The review options for after the quiz is closed are only available if you have specified a closing date and time in the timing settings. There are additional settings you can configure, but for now we'll keep them as default. Note that you can use the restrict access settings to restrict students from taking the quiz unless certain requirements in the course have been met. The activity completion setting allows you to set up criteria under which this activity will be marked complete on the course homepage. Remember, you can click on the blue question marks to find out more about each setting. After you've configured all of the settings for your quiz, click Save and Display. This will take us to part two of quiz setup, adding questions, which will be in the next video.